guys and welcome back to another Yaya video. So, 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 today we are going to be doing a U part wig review. I partnered up with Asteria Hair to give you guys some amazing looks that you can use for any season. So this is the Kinky Curly U Pot wig in 22 inches. She is gorgeous, honestly. And I've seen now a lot of the girls are going back to leave out. Is leave out coming back? Are we getting rid of the frontals? Let me know. I feel like there's still room for a bit of both, maybe more of a closure kind of vibe. But let's have a look and see if we can get this hair blended in with my hair at the moment. My hair right now is so kinky at the moment and because that's how I prefer to style it. Um, I like more of the volumized kind of afro with a little bit of a definition kind of vibe. But today we're gonna have a look and see what we can do in terms of styling this hair. Sometimes it's nice to switch up. Sometimes you wanna try different textures and do some straight, maybe some kinky straight or maybe some coily, curly. That's the best thing about being who we are. We have the diversity and we can switch up. So I'm just gonna cut thing that joins it together and now the wig is open and it's free there we go so actually i've got to say in this box they gave me some really really cute stuff and um, they gave me the usual you know i have like so many of these <laughs> the usual satin sort of vibe again in the lashes and the wig cap they also gave me if i can find it an edges brush and I was taken aback because I just lost mine. So I got it at the perfect time. Perfect, honestly. Mm. Just what I needed. It also has this look for here. I will not be complaining. And they also gave like a, a melt band that you can put on with your lace frontals and your closures. We don't have one of those at the moment, but it was nice for them to throw that in. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to prep my hair for it to go into a braided sort of style that I can wear the wig nice and flat. I'm gonna just sort of quickly measure before I put the wig on where I want it to sit. Like, do I want a middle part? Do I want a side part? Hold up, how, how much hair do I need to leave out? This much? Sort of like a semicircle. I might wanna leave some out here at the front as well. Let's see, let's run with this. Okay, so I've partially parted my hair, so I'm going to just twist up this bit that I'm going to be using later. And then I'm just going to also take some up in the front. So this is an old wash and go that I've got in my hair at the moment. So there is some gel already in my hair. So I'm not really going to have to add much more to get it to blend in with the rest. But I'm going to also pop this bit around here and this bit around here. Just so I've got like my front section. This is like the ultimate lazy babe wig setup. <laughs> because the braids or because the actual hair is quite curly, I'm thinking maybe I can get away with doing some chunky twists and flattening them down. Okay, so now that I've popped to that hair at the back, I'm going to just open the combs. There we go. I'm just going to place this nice and forward like this. And then at the back they have the combs as well. So I'm going to comb, put the combs in and on the sides here. Like so. Let me now take down my actual hair and let's see how much I can blend this thing. Wow. Mm. Okay. I'm just trying to get my hair to blend with this wig and Whoa! I think I'm liking it let's have a look the thing I notice all the time is that my hair is actually quite dark in color and the hair that you know is always sent is a bit light like the more one B look my hair is closer to color one Ooh. but 
whenever I just sort of brush it through, mm, I sort of like it. So I want this hair to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just sort of getting the curls to match mine. So I'm just spraying it with some water and just sort of finger detangling it so that it looks a bit more like the hair that goes from my scalp. Ooh. So after finger detangling, about this much hair that's come out, which is not a lot, in the grand scheme of things. I'm gonna do this side just a little bit more. But yeah. Oh wow, I really like this. The blend is lovely. You would never even know I was wearing a wig. The next time I'll pull out some more hair, but look. Come on, tell me what. Just looks gorgeous. I really like this. Okay, so the hair itself feels incredibly soft. My hair at the front is type 4A, and once it's all brushed out, well, finger tangled, it starts to look a little bit more like tiny curls, just like how my hair type looks. A bit looser. I would say it's about 3C in terms of texture, but it blends out very nicely with my 4A hair with some gel in it. So my hair already had gel in it. That's probably why it looks like this. I had an old wash and go that I had just before I popped this wig on, but this is very cute. I love how flat it looks. And you guys already saw, like here, you can just sort of blend it out. You saw already how much of a lazy girl style this was. So I can be deep conditioned under here. I can have a very bad hair day and no one would suspect a thing because it's all underneath this. You can really see, it's a little bit bumpy at the back, but you know on a lazy hair day who cares on a day where you know you have a bit more time go ahead and make it cute so this is the full length of the hair very very cute and i know you can style this in like a side parting you can do quite a few things you can even like do a rolling sort of hairstyle over here where you have some of it back i like it like this this has given me all the vibes it is very cute very very cute like the blend this is what i'm just not even understanding it's so weird how things go forward and backwards like leave out was a thing and then it wasn't and now it's a thing again are we here for the leave out guys is it easier than the frontal is it easier than the closure let us know i'm all here for trying out some new things it's actually very very exciting and i am definitely going to get some wear out of this this is some cute holiday hairstyle and we had a bit of sun in the uk for a few days um today is looking a bit gray it's gonna rain next week but today as of right now it is good so this is perfect 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 for the spring we're gonna have and for the heat wave that's coming in April, wherever you are in the world, summer is coming, you wanna have your beach waves. And I like that it's tighter in texture. So it's closer to my texture, type four, also the tighter type three hairstyles. And I love it. The blend is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I hope you guys love it too. I'm gonna to put all of the descriptions inside the description box. Let you guys know all the details about the hair and where you can purchase it. But thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching. I hope to catch you in another one and I hope to see you guys a lot more. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you loved the video and I hope to see you guys again. Ciao.